when we go across the upper part of this house, you can see the softening fascia. There's a lot of uh, uh, scra you know, places that we need to scrape and paint. We're going to need to paint uh, definitely the rust on the gutters or replace them. If they're in good shape, they look like they're in good shape. They lay flat. They don't see any damage on it. I would highly recommend just scraping and painting it. But again, this is a flip, so we could replace it. Um, obviously, the soften and fascia, we're looking at that we're going to have to scrape and paint those sections. I would highly recommend the front part of this door, obviously a new storm. The door is also very weak. We would have to have a new door, a new entrance door. This is... Ben, this is actually starting to bow towards the house. If you can't get this jacked up, this plate, this area, this uh, uh, square will probably have to be replaced, just so then it would uh, hold upwards. You know, obviously it would be up. You know, it would actually uh, uh, pour away from the house like it should. So I would recommend that you you would do something that way. And we have some obviously some little work that we need tuck pointing near the entrance of the doorway. Let's go around the edge here. This front here, this definitely will need to be repaired. So if you see this, so the driveway is in good shape. Obviously we need a new door uh, for the garage, but as it goes down, you can see that we definitely need to replace this entire uh, uh, approach. So with this approach, we would need to make sure that we get it replaced. But besides that, it's in very good shape. We've got the soffit and fascia that uh, from this side that we're going to have to, uh, uh, again, uh, scrape and paint. We've got the apron that's in good shape that's going across here. We've got some tuck pointing that needs to happen uh, on the edge of this brick. And you can see that these uh, the water uh, the window wells are actually more than fine. They're in good shape. Uh, we'll probably just have to do a cover on them. If you see how this concrete actually bows towards the house, this will be, that means that they'll probably have some uh, problems in the basement. So what we should do is to make sure that this is poured away. Uh, so what I would say is that this entire concrete piece, again, probably this piece as well, that we take it, whether it gets jacked up or we, uh, you know, we, we replace it or possibly repair, but the repairing would only be temp. So I'd highly recommend taking this uh, concrete and getting it lifted, uh, jacked up, uh, or uh, replaced, like cut, not cut out and replaced. These pieces are more than fine. It does pour just right. This one is a little bit leery. Again, it's just the way that it's setting. It's starting to go towards the house. Good thing is that the garage door is open. So I'm gonna show you it. Uh, we don't have an opener. I'd highly recommend putting an opener in here. Uh, let's see. Well, it used to be an opener, I guess. Yeah, there should, should have been an opener, but it's not uh, here anymore. And I'm not sure if the electric works. So I'm switching it on and off, and the electric's not coming on. So I'm not sure if the electric works in this uh, garage. Little uh, damage with water in the back, not bad. It's in pretty good shape. This is a rubber roof. You probably have some water damage in here. I can't tell because it's a dry, nice, sunny, dry day. But you could definitely see that water comes in here or has came in here in the past. You could see it. All that's water, that's water. All that's from water leaking. So there is a rubber roof above. It could have been repaired. And so all this could be old. I would say that um, you don't have any obviously issues with any of the joists in here and all the bridges look nice. Everything is nice and clean. Nothing is bowing here. So I would at least say unknown for roof above. Possibly you're going to have to get that roof replaced. And it is a rubber roof. The gutter, that's probably where you're getting water damage is because that gutter is going directly down. It doesn't look like there's any uh, sort of, uh, the downspout doesn't have any extension to it. So you're probably getting a lot of uh, water going down in there. I've got enough of a hill here. Let's see if I can get up high enough. Now that, wa that, that house having, that, look at this hill. All this water going towards this house. Hopefully we, have, we don't have any, any severe damages in the basement because this is a, we have, we're far enough and there's enough water that can soak back here. Um, 
I still can't see the rubber roof. Very short, very flat. Oh, this is a very flat rubber roof. Not much of an angle at all. I'm not sure if you could see that. A lot of water could sit up there. I would want that checked. That's very flat. Uh, that could be uh, a lot of future issues or nothing to worry about, but just so you know. The roof uh, here, again, against the gutter, there's a little bit of lift there. That's going to be an issue. I highly recommend getting that nailed down soon. You can see that there's some repair already. So this is an older roof. Like I said, you can see around that, that uh, stink pipe. That's pretty common, actually, around uh, f uh, fireplaces and stink pipes. Or if there's going to be repair, that's where you'll see it. Uh, that's where a lot of damage and a lot of th a lot of issues occur. Uh, water that gets in and just soaks up in the area, and then you have bad you know you have bad uh, sheeting, bad drywall underneath possibly, or even just it goes right down into the basement because it seeps it seeps down and it just follows that uh, two by four and it just goes all the way down and it just damages all the wood, the framework. Uh, a lot of bowing here. I'd say if this is a flip, maybe just replace the roof. The roof is uh, really old looking. Give this a facelift. Um, shingle or soften and fascia again maybe do all the gutters uh, wrap wrap the soffit and fascias new windows wrap around the windows you know that's what i would recommend on the outside really give this a beautiful facelift on the outside uh, new storms front and back new doors uh, definitely new window here um i don't know about the rubber roof we could probably pass that but maybe you have issues up there some concrete work. That's what I would do on the outside. Definitely concrete work down there by the approach. Obviously this neighborhood is wonderful. They're getting their roof repaired over, uh, down the uh, about three homes down. Two people have already stopped by as I was here to ask about this house. So this house is definitely looks like it's uh, really desirable. So uh, looks like a pretty decent house to work on. I'm going inside now.